Welcome to level 19, find the tree of minimum value. You want to find an arc that has the smallest weight. This one is one. Do I have any other ones lying around? I don't. Do I have any twos? No twos. I've got a three here. As you click, it starts building these little tree diagrams. Notice like A and F and E and B are not connected, so they're not connected in the diagram either. Any other threes? No other threes. I've got a four over here, and it's not connected to the other arcs. And I have another four right here, and it is connected. Okay, and look what happens when you connect. So now we have E to B to A to F. It draws your path. Do we have any other fours? No other fours. But I've got a five here. I can't use this five. If I did, look what happens. Like if I went from F to B, you could go from B to A and A to F, and that gives you a circuit. And you're trying to make simple paths like you, without making circuits. That's the catch. No circuits. That would make a circuit and we can't do that. So let's discount that. I'm just going to put a little X here on the five to remind me that I've looked at it. Can't do the five. I have another five down here. I could use this five and just click on it. It doesn't make a circuit and it connects this CD, right? So we have E to B to A to F and we've got a little connector going to CD. This is building the tree diagram for us right down here. After the five, I would do the six, but we get another circuit. Let me show you what I mean. If I did this six, we would get a circuit that looks like this. It's a pretty long one. Up to D, and then down to B, and then up to A, over to F, and there's your circuit. We can't have a circuit, so we can't do that. I'm just going to draw a little X on there to say, forget about that line. And then the last line here, uh, D to E, um, if I did that, we would get a simple circuit that looks like this. To B, and back to E. We can't do that either. So nine is out. And you don't even you don't have to put X's on here, and especially not on the last arc, because like the X's are just for you to help you know that not to highlight this. This is my path. Press enter. If you make a mistake, it will show you the right tree, and it will give you an animation of how it found the right tree down here. And you can pause this or resume it. So you can press pause at any point. Press resume. When it gets to the end, it pauses for a second. If you want, you can pause it. Just, just totally freezes it in a finished state. Here, let's try one more. So I'm looking for the smallest because it's a tree of minimum value. So I start off with the one. Do I have any other ones? I don't see any, but I've got a two here and a two there. Do I have any, any other twos? No, but I've got a three right here and that doesn't make a circuit. That's good. Do we have any other threes? No threes, no fours, no fives, no sixes. I've got a seven which I can't use. If I did this seven, we would end up with a circuit that looks like this. Okay, it makes a little triangular circuit. We can't do that. I'm just going to put a little X on the seven to help me ignore that arc. And after seven, do we have any eights? No eights. Well, we got a nine here. And once again, that is going to make a triangular circuit. So if I did this nine, I would end up with a triangular circuit that looks like this. And we don't want to do that. We will discount this line as well. After nine, do we have any tens? No tens. We've got an 11. That makes a triangular circuit as well. That looks like this. This is 11 and it totally works. We can totally do that. So I'm going to just click on that. Uh, it doesn't make a circuit. This 11 down here also doesn't make a circuit. It just makes our tree a bit longer. 12. I've got a pair of 12s. This is the 12. If I did this 12, let's see what happens. If I did this 12, we would end up with a wonky looking circuit that looks like this. Up to the F, over to the E, back to the G, and there's my circuit. We've gone full circle. So G to C to A to F to E to G makes a circuit. This 12 is totally out. I'm going to put a little X on this 12. We have the last 12 down here, and that also makes a circuit. So C to B, up to E, over to F, down to A, down to C. And there's your circuit, right? Like C to B, to E, to F, to A, to C. We can't do that one as well. We're done. We've looked at every possible arc. We've highlighted all the arcs that don't make circuits, starting from the lowest, going up to the highest. The weight is 30. Press return and yay. Let's just do one more. I'm looking for the ones. I don't have any ones, but I've got a two here. Don't have any threes. I have a four. No fives, no sixes. I got a seven. There's my seven. Any eights? No eights. No. Oh, we got a nine here. Then we have a 10. This 10 would form a circuit. By the way, if it did form a circuit, yeah, you would see that there's some wonkiness, like there's a line going through the D here. It's really hard to see it in this diagram. Don't rely on this. Rely on 
up here. Just have a look. You can draw it out if you want using your pencil tool. I'm going from D to E, and down to B, back to A, from A back to D. There's my circuit. It's like a big, huge, very pointy eight. It's going like that. That's your circuit. I'm just going to put a little X through the 10 to say, hey, this 10 does not work. This 10 doesn't work either because we would get a circuit that went from D to C to B to A to B to A to D. And that's another circuit. We can't have that. I'm just going to put a little X here. If we selected this, we can't select this side either. You could see that it would make a triangle from E to A to B to E again. From A to B to E. That's a circuit. We can't have that. So the 12 is right out. This is your answer. The weight is 22. This is your answer right here. And that's how you do tree of minimum value. Have a good day.